after remoting into our Ubuntu 22 server, we can go to the rootbot GitHub repo. We can scroll down to the releases and we're going to find the re latest release. We can scroll down here. We can see that right now it's 3.1 and we can scroll down to the zip asset. We're going to copy that link and then we can use a wget command to download it. So we're going to wget paste okay we can ls to see what's inside of our directory okay we have our zip file so now let's unzip it ls to see if it worked all right there it is we have our rootbot directory so let's go into it we're going to use cd change directory okay let's say clear to get all of that cleared and let's use the cli commands let's use the args that uh, that rootbot has so we're going to do dot slash rude dash dash help so you can see all of our possible commands here uh, we want to see the quick start guide okay so we're going to use dot slash rude dash dash overview to see exactly how we get started as quickly as possible. Dash dash overview. Okay, so first it wants us to create a key pair and it gives us the command to do that. Uh, we can copy this if we want. Oops. that can paste okay generated a new key pair uh, it tells us our address and it tells us where it was saved to or the the file name gives us some instructions if we want to add it to our phantom wallet okay would you like to update the .env file with this key pair we're going to say yes, which is just why. Okay, .env file has been updated with your key pair. You are now ready to fund the account. Okay, cool. So let's copy this wallet address. This is now our arbitrage account. And let's deposit one soul into that account. So I'm going to go to my phantom account here. I have one soul. I'm going to send it to that address that we just copied, our new arbitrage account. So let's send one soul. One soul over to that account. Sent. All right, so we're funded with a minimal amount. Let's look and see with the up arrow here. All right, let's go back to the overview. Okay, so we've done step one. We've done step two. We funded our account with a minimal amount. Uh, the bot will automatically run it. Down. Okay, so now we need to configure. We need to add our our connections so we can copy this here, paste. Okay, enter your RPC URL. I'm going to be using Rift Node. And they are kind enough to offer rude users a 25% discount on the first month. So go and check them out. But I'll also list other, uh, other providers that you can choose from. You can find them on our 
on the Rude Labs Discord, and I'll also put some in the, the YouTube description. But you'll be able to find a lot of a lot of uh, information on the Discord server, and you can just reach out and ask me if if that's easier. So let's go ahead and copy the RPC URL. I've already whitelisted that IP. Okay, so we're going to paste it. Control Shift V for Ubuntu. Enter. Now we need to enter the gRPC URL. Okay, the gRPC URL. Paste. Enter. We do not have a gRPC token, so we're going to hit enter. Okay, configuration summary. We've put in our connections. You can now start the bot with your new configuration. Okay, so let's scroll back up to our quick start guide. Okay, step three, we configured our connections and now we can start the Jupyter API in a screen session. So a screen session is a virtual terminal session that will allow us to run things in the background of our server so that we don't have to be constantly connected uh, to the server and we can log out whenever we want and the bot will run in the background. Okay, so let's use screen to start up our Jupyter API. Screen dash capital S jupe. Okay, and it's dot slash rude dash dash jupe. Hit enter. Okay, it's going to collect relevant token mints that we want to use for the arbitrage bot, and now it's starting up the the Jupyter Swap API. This is going to take around two to three minutes, so I'll skip through. All right, our Jupyter API is now running, so we can get out, we can detach from the screen session by doing control A and then just hitting the letter D. Okay, so now our Jupyter API is running in the background. Our account is funded. We made a key pair, we funded the account, we put our connections in, we started our Jupyter API, it's running in the background in a scene screen session, um, and now we should be able to run the bot. We can also run the bot in a screenshot session if we wanted to. Um, but let's just do it in our let's just do it in our current terminal for now. So we can just do dot slash rude. Okay, cool. The bot's running. Um, let's hit Control C to exit out of that, and let's just let's go ahead and um, now that we got the bot running without any issues, let's put that into a a screen session. So it's screen dash S. We're just gonna call it bot. Okay, and then now that we're in there, we're in the screen session, we do dot slash rude. And we can control A, and then the letter D. And there you go. So now the Jupyter API is running in the background, and the bot is running in the background. And we're good to go, everything's running now.